Hello, hello. This is Pat with Petresca Papers. I am out in the Bluebird Bungalow. It's a cold day, but I'm out here and I got my heater on. Oh, we're up to 57. Pretty soon it'll be too warm. I'll have to turn it off. Hope everyone is well. If this is your first time finding me, welcome. I hope you'll find something interesting and want to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Ring the bell if you want to be notified when I'm out in the Bluebird Bungalow creating. If you are one of my subscribers, welcome back. It's always fun to have you out here with me in the Bluebird Bungalow. I hope it's warm where you are. Anyway, I have a freebie kit for you today. This freebie kit will only be available on my coffee, Kofi, I like Kofi, I don't know, coffee shop. It will be linked below. It is a freebie, but if you want to, you can give me a tip or a dollar or whatever so I can go buy me not a coffee, but I'll go get me a nice hot chocolate to get me warm. Anyway, that will be linked below. And let me show you what we're going to do for our freebie. Now I'm going to introduce the kit in total in the next section, but I want to show you what we're going to make. I'm calling these oh, a couple of things. Deconstructed envelope signature pages. Yeah? I don't know. So this is what we have. So the deconstructed part is this is one piece. We, we put envelopes often in our junk journals, but we usually have to either deconstruct them and put them in, or we attach them like, oh, I don't have one, but you would put this into the spine and sew it in. I don't know. I tried to see if I could find anyone who'd done anything else like this because I I think it's a new idea. Dare I say? I don't know. And it's limiting because of the size of paper. If you had, if this could be done on legal paper, we could make them bigger, but not really taller. So they're limited in that respect. But for what I've got in mind, this is perfect. So here is the second type. It's a this one I'm calling the, the pointed flap, and this is the rounded flap. Wow. But there is spots to tuck things in. So when they're made, the size is, I think it should be about five inches. Let's see. Yeah, five-ish, five and a quarter. And that should be the same. Now this one is four, almost four inches this way. This one is only about three inches. Okay, but I don't know if you can see if you have if you're a fan of my little little library books. I hope you can see where that's going. Anyway, these are overlays. And these are, you will print things on both sides of the envelope. So you'll do a lining in here and you'll do a print out here. And the, you'll only do a print on this side because this won't show. The next section I go into more detail about that. But these are basically considered overlays. You're going to, you will print them over what you want to see. All right, so I am going to cut the video and come back and introduce that to you and show you how to put this together. I'll be back in just a minute. Bye. Hey, let me introduce you to... Let's see, what am I calling this? The Deconstructed Envelope Signature Insert. 
Okay. <laughs> I need to write that down somewhere. All right. So the kit includes freebies that you've already been given if you've been one of my subscribers, but if you were new or even if you're one of my subscribers, I decided to just stick it in this kit so you don't have to go searching for it. So there is a holly paper. There is a music collage. There is a scritchy lining paper. And there is a half and half paper. Okay. And then, oh, I've got a couple of those here. And then there is two overlays. These are the deconstructed envelopes. This is the, what you will see, well, it depends on how you fold it. I'm going to say it's the outside, but it could be in the inside. But this is the deconstructed envelope. This will make more sense as we go. And this is the inner pieces. Yes, I am giving you inner piece. Now, if it'll just really give us the P-E-A-C-E -E that we need. And they are, they coordinate with these two envelopes. And I probably should have made notations and I will do that before it is put out for you to pick up and use. So let me slide these out of the way and I am going to cut the video, but I will be back and I'm going to have everything prepped so that it can move along smoothly. So I'll be right back. Let's talk about the printing. So in the kit you have three templates or what I like to call overlays. I prefer them to not be called templates because you're not tracing it onto something. You're going to print it on to something. So with the three overlays you have a holly, you have the music collage, and you have a half and half sheet, and you have my printer had a little moment there, sorry. And you have a scritchy lining. What you're going to want to do first, and I am doing this on copy weight paper. You can do this on a cardstock if you want that robust of an of a envelope fold. I think there are times when I would want it out of a cardstock, but for my purposes right now I would rather have it out of copy weight. So you would first print your print, whatever design print you're going to use. And the, the cool thing about these overlays you can use them for any paper, any paper you've got. Even if you have scrapbook paper that you want to cut to your printer size, eight and a half by 11, or if you're in the UK, the A4 size, you can do that. You can do it for any season, any time. You can even do it out of a plain cardstock. So that's why these are so versatile is that you can do anything with them. All right, so you've printed your print that you want. Then you'll run it through again with just the scritchy background. So at that point, you're going to have this on one side and your scritchy lining, I said background, but lining on this side. And then you will run it through again with whatever envelope you are wanting on there. So this is what's pulled up on your computer. You hit print. This is what's going to come out. And this is what you will have. All these lines in here are inside except for that one right there but with some with some distress ink 
you're going to cover that up and you'll distress your edges. So then you've got your deconstructed envelope ready, the base part of it, to be put together. This second piece, or inner piece, as I'm calling it, will go, you don't need to worry about a lining because this isn't going to be seen. So you would just run this through. I've got the two part because I wanted to have two different papers. But again, if you're using your own paper, just choose something that you are good with, one solid design piece on the back of your inner pieces on your overlay. So again, you don't need a lining. You just print that, put it back into your printer, and print that out, and then you're all set to trim out everything and get ready to put it together like I'm going to show you right now. Okay, I have everything prepped, and I've got, I did a little bit of distressing. The only edges you'll see are these top edges, and I did some on the outside. I'll probably do a little bit more there after it's all put together. And this, with the, what I'm calling cleavage, goes with the pointed tip envelope. This one that's like a, what is that? Pentagram? Is that what that is? Anyway, hex Hex is five. This is not five. I know that. But whatever shape that is, that goes with the rounded top. And I'm going to put that on here. It won't ever show, so it'll be right on that piece when you get your freebies. All right, so I've cut everything out. I folded it. And when you fold, you're going to fold two ways. You'll fold so you can see where that dashed line is. You'll fold all of your dashed lines this way first because you can see them. See they're right there. And then you'll come back and do this way. And I suggest that you do a really good burnish on each of the top flaps. Okay, so I've done this one. This one's all done. And so let's put this one together first. So what this is, this is a envelope. So we put envelopes in our junk journals a lot. And the flap usually is what's, you sew it down in. But this is going to be like this. So you will have an envelope side there and there. It'll be one piece and not two envelopes. So this is where it's deconstructed. So this is going to be glued on there like that. And all we have to do is glue down the two sides. I have my glue ready. I made sure. I said I did. Let's see if I really do. There it is. Yay! Just a little glue. Now, as we glue this, glue as close to that edge as you can. Okay. And I'm going to match up. We want it in. There's about, I think it's almost a quarter of an inch I think let's see here yeah it's about a quarter eighth of an inch come on there we go just like that and I am not gonna fold that yet because you know glue and paper don't always gel right at first okay so let's fold all these in. In fact, let's 
Let's give you an extra little burnish. So I hope everybody is good and ready for Thanksgiving. Next week is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. Okay, all right. Same thing with this one. I'm going to glue down the sides. Nothing on the top. All right, here we go. Down this side here. And there. So, you guys, if you've seen anything like this, will you please leave me a comment? Because I kind of think this is a brainchild that I had. And I don't, I try to look for anything. I just may not be calling it the right thing. But if you've seen something like this, would you please make a comment? So, what I'm matching up is that point with where we're going to fold it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I know you fit. You know, I'm using art glitter glue and it's just, it wants to stick. I may have a little titch over there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to snip it right there. Okay. So, this one, shall we fold? I think we will. I'm going to gently fold there and then come back this way and fold it like that. And then this folds in there like that. And then you can either slide it in if you have a, an elastic binding or you can sew this in as a signature and then you can add little items in there where it's folded that's going to be the bottom because they'll it'll always be creased so things won't go all the way through okay that's that one and let's fold this one and back this way and I kind of wanted it to have that patchwork look. Oh, I like it. And the same with this. Now, let me tell you, these fit perfectly in the little books. Let me grab one. Which one? Let's look at the Halloween one. That was, this might... Did this stay as big? It, I don't know. The, the little books sometimes have different sizes. But see, this would fit quite nicely in there. It might stick out a little bit, but it could be sewn right into the signature. Now, I have some Christmas books that I am getting ready and I think they will follow along very closely after this video because I want to put them into my little Christmas books. So that is it for this video. I hope you like it. I hope you will go grab your freebies. They are linked below. I'll also put a link to the Christmas books when I get those out and any of the other books, I will put a little playlist in the link below. All right, you guys. Hey, thank you so much for watching. See you again very soon. Bye-bye.